ஒரு <laughs> Firstly, I would like to share my interview experience. In my first interview, uh, my board was Beans and Basi Sir's board. It was a very stressful interview because there were counter questions to each and every simple answer that I have been given. So that kind of uh, environment was quite new to me because I was not even prepared that well. In my second interview, uh, I was uh, interviewed by uh, RN Chobe Sir's board which was very technical and that was one board which I was not expecting. So what happened was 10 minutes before the interview we would not know which board is it so after looking at uh, arun chauhan sir's name on the door i was like uh, why god why am, why am i getting this only board which i did not want it but what i did was uh, i was remembering the words of uh, avani lakra who is in para para uh, olympic shooter she said that uh, while uh, practicing shooting or while in the game she would not think about anything else other than the process I should not think about the Olympic medal. Should not think about India or or parents or anything else. So I did the same thing. I have tried to focus on the process. Went in there for thirty minutes and given my best. Whatever the question may be, and however difficult the question may be, I was into my personality, honest, and focused on what I could show better in my personality. Though I was afraid before entering to the room, later I have been awarded more marks, at least thirty marks more from the last. Uh, Uh, first interview that i have given in upsc cec 2019 the reason for this improvement i believe is not just the performance on that particular day but overall improvement in my personality so what i did after my first interview was i realized that interview is not just the examination of knowledge it is the examination of personality for that what i did was i identified what are the traits of a personality that upsc is expecting so what i did i made a list of all these personalities which are already there in the notification so all these traits were there on my table on a stick note every day i used to look at them and purge out the negativity which i had in my own personality for example if upsc is expecting somebody of a good intellectual integrity so what we generally do if we don't know any question we try to answer that question in a different way so that the examiner feels appealed and gives us the marks but that is not the right way if upsc expects to answer straight forward questions and if you know you must tell that you know and if you don't know you must tell you do not know and if there is scope to think you must think and answer that particular question so this is what i used to do i used to take up every trait of my personality and match with my own personality and think is is this what i have is there anything which we need which i need to do to develop this particular thing so all all these traits have been developed over an year not just in those 2 to 3 months and also one of the most important thing is constitution of india we need to align our values with the constitution of india which is the richest document that we have so what i used to do is i used to learn fundamental rights and fundamental duties and connect it connect it with the reality i have i've been seeing in my own life through that i used to find that if i if i find something wrong there is always a scope to do make it right and what is the ideal thing that we need to do in this way my personality has been developed in such a way that whichever issue i see it is not that difficult to take a stand because i know my values have been aligned with the constitution of india and that has been developed over time and also the other thing is thinking and acting like a bureaucrat because once you are an aspirant you want to be a bureaucrat so you cannot just be a bureaucrat after getting a rank even in the preparation you need to act like a bureaucrat for example if a government is introducing a policy or a mission like swachh bharat mission even being an aspirant you must be responsible while throwing waste or dumping waste anywhere and also develop that kind of attitude where you must be responsible what upsc is expecting upsc is expecting a aspirant who is responsible and aware citizen of india once you are responsible and aware you can clear the interview and every part of the examination be aware is what is expected for example uh, in my second interview i have been asked about this mock tower which has been established in kanot place in new delhi that has happened two days ago from my interview date so i had to have an idea because new delhi a city is one of the most polluted cities 
and new delhi government has come up with a new concept of smog tower which is related to my mechanical engineering which was earlier established in chinese town so in this way i must have the curiosity intellectual curiosity to know what is it and what is the mechanism of it and how it has worked in different countries of the world in this way upsc as it as it expecting the awareness the questions of the interviewees or the examiner will be the same how the uh, aware the student is and how he is answering that particular question as a fellow aspirant i know that what kind of pressure that an aspirant has while he is while he goes into the interview room so what uh, i did for this particular thing is uh, i practiced vipassana meditation every day i went to a 10 day course and learned how my own personality is i learned the art of introspection because in this busy world with mobile phones and uh, different kind of distractions there is very much less time of introspection in our own lives so what i did was introspected myself about everything what what am i what are my what are my qualities and what i want to do in life what are my expectations from life and how i can do to achieve those expectations so in this way i had a clarity of what am i and i have developed the skill of equanimity like not getting too happy after uh, ha- experiencing something happy and also not getting too sad after experiencing something sad so there was an equal balance of emotions at any any point of time so i would like to conclude by saying that interview preparation of an upsc aspirant does not just start after mains it starts that from the day you have decided that you want to be a bureaucrat so everybody must keep that in mind in every event or every aspect of his own personality and his life and make sure he develops the right kind of personality which upsc is expecting and which he himself want him to be so uh, this is what i wanted to talk about interview preparation thank you for watching drilling on strike